I know this is pretty late, but I finally got to see The Scorch Trials, and so now I get to review it. So The Scorch Trials is the sequel to a surprise hit that I really enjoyed. It's a sequel to The Maze Runner. The Maze Runner was another young adult novel adaptation that I wasn't really expecting much of going into it, but I was highly surprised. I really loved the action, I loved the characters, and I really enjoyed it. The only downflaw is the ending was really, really awful. And so what could have been a four and a half star film was more of a four star film ultimately. And so now The Scorch Trials comes out a year later and it definitely felt a little rushed. So The Scorch Trials starts right where the maze runner left off. The survivors of the maze all get sent to this facility where other maze survivors have been brought to. Yeah, apparently Wicked had a number of mazes other than the maze that we saw in the first film. And when this facility is run by Peter Baelish, well, you know that something is awfully wrong. Thomas soon discovers that this was all part of Wicked's plan and they're still captured by Wicked. And so him and the other survivors all escape and they enter the Scorch. So now it becomes a post-apocalyptic action movie, and it's still good. And so now Thomas and the other survivors not only have to survive the desolate desert of the scorched earth, but they also have to survive the zombie-like infected people that have got the solar virus or whatever it was called. And they have to find a way to get to this possible resistance. I just still think that The Maze Runner is a little bit better of a film. I like that despite the movie being two hours or more long, it still felt like a really fast-paced action movie and I didn't feel like it was too long of a movie. I still care about the multiple different characters that survived the maze. This is also definitely more of a straight-up action film rather than a mystery that the first film was and you lose some of that Lord of the Flies element that the first movie had. I do love that this series is opened up to a brand new world and it leads to some really big action sequences as well as some really beautiful shots with not just the CGI post-apocalyptic world but there are some really excellent cinematography during key moments of the film. You still get a sense of it being teamwork and that everyone has a job to do and everyone has a specific skill set to help them through this apocalyptic world. But not as much as the original Maze Runner because in this one it is definitely more focused on Thomas. All the acting is good enough and there's nothing I can really complain acting wise. But there's something about the action sequences that I don't really like as much with Scorch Trials as I do with the Maze Runner. For some reason, the action sequences have lost their intensity for me. Like when I was watching The Maze Runner, I was completely on the edge of my seat, worrying about the characters, and I, I thought the action was absolutely intense. But for some reason, in The Scorch Trial, I never really had that sense of on the edge of my seat. And it's kind of weird because, like I said, this is almost non-stop action. I do like the zombie element in the movie because the first movie preluded to it with the fact that there's a solar virus and it really does affect some of the people that have it. They become violent and they turn on each other and so it makes sense that there would be more of a zombie-like creature throughout the apocalypse. The zombie-like beings in the later half of the film were definitely kind of cartoony CGI and almost reminded me too much of clickers to the point where I wasn't really scared by them. Unlike the Maze Runner, the new characters in the Scorch Trials, there isn't enough of them to get to know them and to get to either care about them or hate them. And you just have to rely on these really good actors to portray the characters because while some of the actors aren't, may not be as great as you might think they are, but they do feel like they fit the role perfectly and that adds some charm and some likability to some of these newer characters, but ultimately their characters are pretty flat compared to the side characters in The Maze Runner. 
I think there are a lot more answers to the questions that were left hanging in the Maze Runner, and I really appreciate that. And while the movie does end on a cliffhanger, it feels like a way better ending than the Maze Runner. But I have to say there's one scene that's completely out of place in the Scorch Trials. This scene has to deal with a marketplace and a rave scene, and it's really, really weird to see in a post-apocalyptic film. Now before this point you understand that there could be more gangs in this world. But then suddenly they escape a bunch of zombies and then suddenly they're in a marketplace and there's survivors and they're just going about their day like it was nothing and then there's a rave scene and it's really out of place. In the end, I did still like The Scorch Trials, I just didn't like it as much as The Maze Runner. So I'm going to give Scorch Trials three stars. So have you seen Scorch Trials? What did you think about it? Go ahead and comment. If not, what is your favorite young adult novel adaptation on film? As always, this is Bruce Gifford and this was just my opinion.